from the north. I call Archangel Mikael, angel of fire. I call forth the sword of truth, protection and power. I ask for a blue cross in a blue circle of light. I call the warriors of the flame. From the east, I call Archangel Raphael, angel of air. I call the host of healing angels. From the south, I call Archangel Gabriel, angel of water. I call forth the golden chalice. From the west, I call Archangel Uriel, angel of earth. I call forth the tree of life at the center. I call the light of the Christ, the great white brotherhood, the ascended masters, all of the guides, friends, teachers, and helpers who wish to be present, you are welcome. I ask that I may step aside and this journey be conducted from the realms of light. And so it is. We bring to you the greetings of the great white brotherhood. As you have been told, we are the teachers, the guides, the masters who have walked this earth before you. And now from the realms of light, we are overseeing the awakening process. And this is why we are most delighted for this opportunity to be of service once more to all of humanity. We thank you for bringing your gift, your light, and your presence at this most critical time in the process of the Great Awakening. There is something of a battle going on at this time on the Earth plane. As the old forces who have been in control, who have been abusing their power, controlling and manipulating the masses. It is their time now to let go, and they do not do it easily. The other side of that struggle is the light, which is growing rapidly across the surface of this planet as the light workers, such as yourselves, are now truly awakening to the truth of who they are, powerful creator beings of light. It is time to claim your mastery, to use your energy and your power to reclaim this earth as it was in the beginning in ancient Lemuria. The earth was a garden of love, peace, and harmony. And it is time to return. And this is why each one of you who has heard the call who is hearing this message. Each one of you is part of that team, the light workers, the star seeds who are lifting this earth into the light. So let us begin our journey now. 
we take you at this auspicious time to the great pyramid of Chichen Itza in the Yucatan in Mexico. We wish for you to just imagine in your mind that you are standing in the plaza in front of the pyramid, wearing the robes of the priest, the priestess. And you have come here this day to celebrate the equinox, this time of balance between night and day, dark and light. You have come to watch the light being reborn. So just feel the stillness. It is early morning. It is the time just before the dawn. The sky is just t being tinged with a pale gray light. And you begin now your journey. You begin to walk towards the steps of the pyramid, all walking together, united in your purpose here. Very slowly, you begin to climb the great stone stairway placing each foot carefully. As you climb, you are connecting in to the ancient memories that are held in the stones. Many feet have walked this way before you. So as you climb higher, up the pyramid, you are going deeper into peace, into stillness. There is a calm inner knowing that all is well. The divine plan is unfolding in perfect order. You climb up higher and higher into the fresh air until you come to stand on the platform at the top of the pyramid. And there we stand together facing the east as we breathe in the still, cool air, your body is feeling lightened and refreshed. Now, as we watch the great golden disk of the sun begins to make its way above the eastern horizon. Huge golden disk rising in the east. And as it sends its beams across the pyramid, it is creating an enormous serpent of light. which is projected to, onto the side of the steps. So now we stand to face the serpent, that powerful 
serpent of light rises up the long stairway. It comes across the stone platform to where you are standing. And now you feel this serpent of light spiraling up through your body, spiraling up through your feet, through your knees, through the thighs and the hips, spiraling in the root chakra. The serpent of light is cleansing old memories, fear for survival, loss of life from the great catastrophes that have come upon you in your long walk through the third dimension, through density. The serpent of light is cleansing the root chakra, lifting it up, bringing in the next octave, where you reclaim your powers as a super conscious being knowing that you are no longer subject to the limitations of the third dimension. Your root chakra is being lifted into the next octave of the fifth dimension, giving you the power to create your own reality, no longer subject to the physical laws that have been holding you in limitation. So feel the root chakra glowing as the serpent of light spirals through. The serpent is now spiraling up the spine to the sacral chakra in the belly. And here, the serpent spins its wheel of brilliant light, cleansing all of the memories of emotional pain, of being lonely, rejected, ostracized, not being given the nurturing that you needed so much, especially as a little child, as a newborn, as an infant. All of those memories of abandonment, of neglect, of abuse are being washed away by the spinning serpent of light. The sacral chakra is now glowing as it moves up to the next octave. And you are filled with a warmth, perfect love. From the father and the mother of all, from the oneness, from the light, from your family of light who love you unconditionally, no matter 
who you are or what you have done. You are unconditionally loved because you are the family. The family of light which has come to reclaim this planet. So just feel that warmth now in your belly as if you had just eaten a wonderful meal. Now the serpent is spiraling up to the solar plexus, just beneath the rib cage over the stomach. And as the serpent begins to spin, all of the memories of being enslaved, imprisoned, controlled, manipulated, lifetimes of being overwhelmed by superior force all the way back to Atlantis and Lemuria, lifetimes of being bought and sold either as a slave or as a wife in the game, on the board, the politics game, traded for land and wealth, often because you were in a female body. All of these memories are now being released because that is no longer the story of the new earth. It is the story of the old earth and it is time to let it go. So now your solar plexus is being lifted into the next octave. It is time to claim all of your own power as the being of light, which is the truth of who you are, who you have always been. It is time simply to remember and to reclaim those powers, to be your own master, to follow your own will, subject only to the will of the divine. So feel that powerful center glowing with golden light in the solar plexus as you claim your power as divine self. So now the serpent is spiraling up to the heart chakra. And as the serpent begins to spin in the heart, all of the old memories of heartbreak, of loss, loss of loved ones, of husbands, wives, children, family, so much loss. Let the heart release the suffering now, the grief, the sadness. Let all of that memory be released now. 
never to return. So as the serpent of light is spinning in the heart, lifting the heart into the next octave. You are inviting in the new cycle of love, joy, community. You are calling your soul family who have the contracts to walk through the gateway into ascension with you, those who are to walk with you, call them now into your heart. So just feel your heart opening like a flower, filled with love, a beautiful chalice being filled with the golden elixir of love. Let that expand out to fill your whole body. This is the new way. This is the new earth where all is love. Let us claim that now. Let us claim this new earth where there is only love. The serpent is now spiraling up the spine into the throat, into the neck. And as the serpent spins its spiral of light in the throat, It is releasing all of those memories where you have been shut down, where your voice was not heard, where even you were persecuted for speaking up against tyranny, against slavery, speaking up for the people against the tyrants. All of these memories are held in the throat, holding back your voice. So let all of those memories be released. And the serpent is now spinning the spiral into the next octave for the throat. It is time to speak your truth, to share your words of wisdom, and to sing the song of the heart. Sing it out. The earth is ready now to hear your voice. So just feel the throat chakra glowing, bursting with messages. From this time forward, you will speak your truth without hesitation, speaking loud and clear. The serpent is now traveling up through the brain to the third eye in the center of the forehead. This is the lens that gives access to all 
of the inner worlds, the hidden realms. So as the serpent spins the wheel of light, all of the memories where your vision has been shut down, clouded, or misused. Many lifetimes we were forced as priestesses to be the oracle. And our words were then used to manipulate the people. And we were held hostage, drugged, our lives shortened by the excessive use of drugs. All of these memories hold us back from opening our inner eye. So let all of those memories of any kind of restriction of our inner sight, let those memories be released now. The serpent of light is spinning the third eye into the next octave. So now the veil is being withdrawn. And as you look out through the third eye, you have a window into all of the realms of light where the masters, the guides, the angels, all of the beings of light are waiting for you. One of them comes towards you now. looks into your eyes, takes you by the hands and gives you a mes message mind to mind telepathically. So simply open yourself to receive the message. Know that this guide will be walking with you for the rest of your journey until all of the earth is lifted once more into the light. Finally, the serpent is spiraling up to the crown chakra, spinning the spiral, releasing all of those memories where your crown chakra was deliberately disconnected to keep you separate from yourself. At the time of the fall, it was a choice that we made to disconnect our DNA light strands and to close the crown chakra, to close the door that connects us into oneness. So let all of those obstacles, implants, all memories of having our crown chakra shut down, blocked, 
all of those memories are being erased. And as this serpent of light spins in the crown chakra, it is now being lifted up to the next octave and is opening wider, shining more brilliantly than ever. So just feel the crown chakra opening as it was always meant to be after the fall and the disconnect would come the resurrection and the reconnect. And this is the time. So just feel your whole being being lifted up, floating out through the crown in a pillar of light, being lifted up traveling through all the realms of light, all of the planes, the dimensions being lifted up to the source, to the brilliant white light from which you came as the being that you are long before you took on any form. You were this being of pure light. So feel the consciousness of this being who knows all, who sees all, who is all, Feel that consciousness and know this is who I am. This is the truth of my being. I claim it now. This consciousness as your divine self has a message for you. What does it wish to say? It is time now to bring this powerful creatress, creator to the earth plane to walk the light and the truth here on the earth plane. So now feel yourself floating down to the earth with great wings of light, floating down as the angel, this powerful, magnificent being of light that you are. Bring this one down, floating down to the earth. And as you look down, you can see the whole planet beneath you. You can see the interplay of the shadow and the light. And as you come floating down, as we all 
come floating down together, bringing the light from the source. As you come down closer to the earth and you're shining, you're radiating your light all around you, look what happens to the earth as you add your light to the great awakening, the light that is growing. See how much brighter and stronger that light becomes when you bring all of your essence down to the light. So as we come floating down to the earth, all of us, the winged ones, let us bring this light to the places of the earth where it is needed at this time. Let us see ourselves floating, hovering over Afghanistan, pouring down the light of truth and love to all of those who are suffering. Let us bring it to Haiti, those who are suffering there. And if you have a place that is dear to your heart where you know the light is needed, just imagine flying there and shining your light. So let us now bring this light into the powerful energy centers of the earth to feed the crystal grids, the ley lines, the dragon lines that are the nervous system of Mother Earth, the meridians. So we bring it down into Chichen Itza to see ourselves in a group hovering over that great pyramid, sending the beam of light down into the vortex from where it travels out across the planet. We take it to Stonehenge in England, bringing this circle of light to awaken the great stones. We take it to Egypt, to the Great Pyramid of Giza. We bring it to Uluru, to Ayers Rock in Australia, which is the solar plexus of the Earth. bring it to Mount Shasta, Northern California, which is the root chakra of the earth.
bring it to Peru, Lake Titicaca, which is the sacral chakra of the earth. And we see this line of light, a flame, traveling through all of the earth grids, lighting up the whole planet. And finally, each one of us brings this shining angel of light with great wings to our own homes, to the places where our bodies are waiting. So just see yourself come floating down through the crown chakra, bringing this powerful being of light into your physical body, lighting every cell with the light of your own presence, your divine essence. Every cell is being charged with the power and the light of your own divine presence. We ask for the light codes in the DNA for you to embody all of your divine self to be activated now. We see this and we decree this in the name of the one and it is done. So just feel your whole body is glowing. The stories are gone. The old memories are gone. Do not Reinvite them. If you find the old tapes, the old stories wanting to play again, just say to yourself, No, that is the past. It is time now for the new beginning. So as you look out through the eyes of the presence, it is like an, an X-ray, a heightened vision. You are looking out through the third eye and the physical eyes at the same time. You can see the truth behind the illusion. So just look at the earth as she awakens, as humanity awakens. See all around the earth groups of people, individuals, calling in the light, awakening to their own divine essence and feeding the light that is lifting this earth into the fifth dimension. So just feel that energy in your whole body. Feel the awakened powers. Whatever you wish to see manifest, you first vision, you see it in your mind, you set your intention, you send out the vision. This is how we create now in the new earth. We do not have to wait for all of humanity 
to awaken. We can begin to live right now our own truth. So just say to yourself, I am the light. I am all that I ever need to be. I have the power to manifest whatever I choose. And I choose love. So feel your whole body glowing with love, with peace, with the knowledge that all is well. The plan is perfect. Whatever you need will come to you. Whatever you need to be doing, you will be doing. So be at peace. So now let us bring this essence back into this reality, into this plane. So feel yourself coming back now to awakened consciousness. Let us send down a root into Mother Earth, inviting her to pull you back in to your body, deepening the breath. Becoming aware of the sounds in the room around you. Moving your fingers, moving your toes. Feeling very peaceful, calm, hopeful. So in your own time, allow yourself to come fully back. 